is asking, what exactly is the value of the life of a Nigerian citizen? Controversies have filled the airwaves and media headlines, debates on who's to blame or who's not. But I tell you, I am to blame. You are to blame. Every citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is to blame. These innocent citizens came out to protest peacefully, demanding for their constitutional right. But corrupt and demonic, devilish politicians infiltrated their midst through their mercenaries and hijacked the protest opening fire on two police officers, and the response is what we're seeing here today. These bodies lie here lifeless today because we know who these corrupt politicians are, yet we allow them to levant freely amongst us with reckless impunity, reckless abandon. They lie here lifeless today because as, as a government organization, and private organization, we seek corruption flourishing and we do nothing about it. They lie here lifeless today because of every Nigerian citizen that gather in groups indoors and outdoors and argue about the state of the nation, about the corruption in this country, but do nothing about it. They don't even have the BVCs to vote these corrupt politicians out. They lie here lifeless today because of every mosque and every church that gathers their members in thousands and hundreds week in and week out and don't even mobilize these people to vote these corrupt politicians out use your pvcs use your pvcs after you pray because i tell you you can pray from now till thy kingdom come but without works your prayers are dead our brothers and sisters feed on wild plants and drink of their own urine so they can quench their thirst from the scorching sun of the Sahara while they cross in search of greener pasture. And above that same Sahara, 35,000 feet above, we have these men sitting in, in their luxurious jets, sipping on expensive wine and corseted in their first class seats while they loot away our national treasures into banks in, in the United Kingdom. Thousands of your brothers and sisters our sons and daughters are fed on by sea creatures and sharks while their, seas, their boat capsized in the Mediterranean Sea. All because they were looking for greener pastures in, in a foreign land. And then you have these men sitting their ugly, grotesque backsides on beaches in Malaga, Malibu, feeding on foods gotten from the same creatures that have for so long fed on your long-lost youthful compatriots. But the day ends the reign of terror with this evil that they've done. Because we're joined by 200 million Nigerians home and abroad. And with one voice we say, the thus far and no more. These bodies lying here today, they're crying out for vengeance. But not only for themselves. They cry out for vengeance those who have lost their lives in accidents on our horrible roads, roads that have been commissioned to be fixed, but these men embezzle every single penny that has been put aside for these roads. They cry out in vengeance for the unfortunate citizens that have lost their lives fighting for their pension and have gone unrewarded and their families left to dry. They cry out in vengeance for those that have lost their lives in civil and religious crises masterminded by these evil geniuses. Cry out in vengeance for our soldiers who have lost their lives to insurgents sponsored by these devilish politicians. We cry out in vengeance for our failed justice system that has seen thousands of men and women in prison for crimes they know nothing about. We will not be dismayed, my fellow compatriots. For there's absolutely nothing wrong with Nigeria that cannot be fixed by what is right with Nigeria. These masquerades of slavery have made a wrong spectacle of this great nation to the world. But together we will reconstruct the headlines and change the narrative. From our schools, to our churches and our mosques, from our offices, to our organizations and our fora, from door to door and on every media platform, declare that henceforth there will be no peace for the wicked. 
Nigerians may have been slow, but we are not weak. We may have acted cowardly, but we are not stupid. We may have been silent, but we are not indecisive. Nigerians all over the world rise today to mourn our loss. And we say that we will no longer give oxygen to the food so that they choke on their iniquity. We will vote them out of office. Give corruption is the first burial in our land. And together we will build a nation so much so that the international community will join us in saying, Oh death, where is your sting? Oh corruption, where is your victory? So arise, oh compatriot, Nigeria's call obey. Serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. The song with heart and might, one nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. Thank you for watching. You may leave your comments, like, and subscribe to our channel so that it will help us to do more videos.